Sure. Um, one, of, one of the ways we adapt our methodologies is one, one of the teams who has different stakeholders with different, I would call it, uh, service level agreements. So they have mm -hmm. to do some strategic, long to be implemented stuff, some other stuff that's more like we need to have it every other two weeks. Mm -hmm. and, and even worse, uh, there's people coming in, I read it right now. So, um, so they actually established a mixture of methodologies in their one team, which I found very, very nice. Uh, it's actually one part of the team is actually doing Scrum on yeah. iterations. Mm -hmm. One is more the Kanban team, who yeah. is where, where we have a continuous flow. So the first one is the strategic one. The other one can, can uh, uh, work on the other stuff. And then they have something that what we call the friendly ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, so the friendly ghost is the one who's doing the ad hoc work and makes sure um, everyone else can focus on their um, um, short term or um, long term stuff. How mm -hmm. do you feel about that mixture of methodologies in one team? Well, I mean, I, I, I think it, it's great, and I, I would actually say you could end up providing those mixed service capabilities. N not, not e you wouldn't necessarily have to use different methodologies for it to do it. And uh, you know, an, an analogy, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make two analogies, uh, is one is if you look at a well-managed doctor's office, Mm -hmm. They want to schedule a lot of scheduled appointments, but they still have a demand for emergencies and walk-in patients and things. So they don't say, we can schedule nothing because we have a certain amount of walk-in demand. Mm -hmm. What they will typically do is they will establish pre-positioned time slots of 15 minutes of uncommitted time mm -hmm. scheduled for certain times of the day. Mm -hmm. If an emergency, let, let's say the first 15 minute time slot is 10 a.m. in the morning. If the emergency comes in at 9.30 in the morning, they handle the emergency immediately and they take the appointment that was supposed to occur and they delay it. Mm -hmm. Then they recover the schedule on the appointments when that 15 minute time slot becomes available. So they basically allocate a portion of their capacity to the two different work streams, the planned work and the unplanned work. And if you said, what group of technical professions in the world understands the most about that problem, you would say, it's computer programmers. Right. You know, it, because this is the problem of operating system design that we dealt with in time sharing systems 40 years ago. We said, we've got a processor, we can't break this up into 20 different processors and things like that, so how will we manage it? We'll break it into time windows. We will assign a portion of the time slice to the priority A jobs, a portion to the B jobs, a portion to the C jobs and things. We will allow a certain number of projects to be active in that particular category. We will monitor the, the turnaround time of our A jobs. If our A jobs are not getting done fast enough to meet the service level agreement, we will alter the time slice of the resource that we allocate to the mm -hmm. A jobs. So I, I think this problem of dealing with homogenous flows and different service requirements is actually more deeply understood in the software world. The problem is people in the software world use all of those ideas in the design of their systems, mm -hmm. but when they're designing their processes, they seem to forget everything they know. Okay.